Okay, now we're going to get into uh, using Flow software, and I want to start by launching or opening up the PDF manual. Uh, earlier we talked about where to get the manual. You go to Cuomo.com and go to the tablets and the software, and there's a link right there. So I'm going to launch this PDF file, and it should look something like this. In this case, I believe they called it The Final. Not a great name, but it does the job. We're looking for one that's copyrighted 2008 and about 23 pages long. So it should look something like this. And we're just going to go right to the beginning and kind of walk step by step through some things here. So getting started, guide to your toolbars, so on and so forth, installing and starting your software. So I'm showing you this so that you can refer back to it any time without there being much of a mystery. Now one of my philosophies is what I call IE, ignore and explore. So when something's in your way and you don't think you need it, just don't worry about it. There's very little potential for damage. But when you want to do something, you should explore and look for it. So in this case, we're wanting to launch the software. So you all probably do not need to do the installation. If you did, you'd go through these instructions. But we do want to launch the software. And this is the icon. You see it looks like a sort of a whiteboard stand with a pen on it. In this case, it's a shortcut. And it says flow works, flow exclamation point works. So I've got that on my desktop, and I'll show you that. And you see right here, I'm moving that around. There's Flowworks. Alternatively, because launching from the desktop is not always optimal, you can go to your Start menu, and if you've launched it recently, it may be right under Start. But if you have not, you go to All Programs, and note that I'm using Vista, whereas it may be slightly different in other applications. And we're not actually looking for F Flowworks. We are looking for Q Cuomo. So I scroll down to Cuomo, and then I open that up. Taking its time in this case. And I see Flowworks and then double click or single click and launch the way you launch any other software application. So a couple things will happen as soon as this launches. One of them is it will look like something has taken over your computer and essentially what Flowworks is giving you is a big whiteboard that's full screen and a toolbar and it should look something like this. Notice in the upper right we have essentially slide one of one and we have the date and we have the time. Over on the left, we have this little pop-out thingamajiggy, and we can click on it and see it's got some tools there and just a blank that also says one of one. And the color choice is unfortunate, but you can almost read it there. And in the middle, we have this toolbar. Now, you may see it, it may look something like this. And if so, click the little icon with the four arrows to make it larger, and that gives you that. So without even looking at the manual, let's see if we can just play around a little bit here. You've got Start, and Start has a tiny little arrow here, so we'll click on that. You can hover over any of these, and it gives you a little tip. So it says Start here. We can move over. It says Switch Mode. We can move over. It says Screen Annotation. So each of these has a meaning, and over time, you'll hopefully get comfortable with each of them. Notice a couple are grayed out. For example, this one is grayed out, but the tip says Previous Slide. And this one is grayed out, and it says Next Slide. So it makes sense that if we only have one slide, there is no Previous and Next. Um, this one over here is grayed out. This is a Redo, or we haven't done anything. There is an Undo, so I'm not sure what we did, but let's click Undo, and it actually deletes the slide, so we have no slides at all now. And now that we have no slides, all of these other items are grayed out because with us out of slide, there's nothing you can do. So let's make a new slide. So if you don't have a slide to start with, and we'll just do a white slide to get us back where we were. And that basically has launched the application and given us one slide. Another thing very worth noting is this hand helps us move this thing around so it's not in our way. So move it and resize it. And uh, in the next couple of tutorials, we'll get into actually using some of these buttons.